Hey, what's up, my cool like that peeps? It is me, your cool like that Asian in the house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you guys at? Oh, my body is so sore, people. My trainer worked me out yesterday. Yes, he did. Uh, <laughs> here's my my list. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's that is my list of stuff I have to do. I'm working my way up, people. This fat belly needs to go. Even Andre said, oh my goodness, I see it now because we're looking through some old pictures. Um, we went to the Patti LaBelle concert like two years ago. Uh, well, a year and a half ago. Patti LaBelle concert in, Missis in Biloxi, Mississippi. And we saw pictures and I was thin. Now I have this belly fat that I need to get rid of, people. Really, I need to get rid of. So <laughs> it was like, oh my goodness, I see it. <laughs> rude no no i see it myself so anyways i have this weird wave going in my hair i don't know where i got this wave but it's kind of cute but weird at the same time i don't know how that happened maybe somebody was brushing my hair when when i was sleeping or something <laughs> so my mommy got me something for my birthday it, got, it, it was sent here yesterday She, she um, got me a card. Okay, let me tell you. All right. There's two two things that I'm never I, I'm not very fond of. A lot of tape, people. My mom put a lot of tape across the card, and I had to like pry it open, try to pry it open. And then she sent me a card. Right. What is wrong with this picture? I hate birds. I hate birds. She sends me a card with birds. A bird. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't know me too well. Mom. Um, and then she sent me a picture of my niece. She's 10 years old this year, people. Looks exactly like my brother. Really. Pretty little girl. She's spoiled because she, you know. And then... Look, my mom got me a $30 gift card to American Eagle. She was like, I'm so sorry it's so little bit, you know. And I'm like, really? $30 is not a little bit. I can look for stuff with $30, people. I really can. So, bargain chopper here. Bargain chopper here. <laughs> she doesn't know who I'm ta she's talking to because uh, I use coupons. I use coupons almost on anything, and I will get mad. Andre knows this. I will get mad if there's a, if I can't find a coupon. Oh, so yeah, we found out. Um, I I kind of found out yesterday that the grocery store, that cheapest grocery store, Don Quixote. I don't know if that's how you say it, but um, they might not be accepting print uh, internet coupons. So I'm kind of interested to hear what the coupon policy because i had to email them for the coupon policy um yesterday so yeah hopefully they take internet coupons if not then shit right <laughs> uh, i have to go walking people I have, I have to do my cardio i'm so lazy to do my cardio but i gotta push myself all right, so yesterday I took, uh, I went working out at 1 o'clock. My trainer changed my time, so I had to do it at 1 o'clock. And then after that, I did, um, uh, I signed up for this Oprah Life class. And it's very interesting, people. It's very interesting because the information she gives is very inspiring. And you know how Oprah is. She's almost like Barack Obama, very good with her words. And it's so inspiring, um, a lot of the um, stuff. And... It was interesting that some of the, the stuff was just like, like yesterday, I kind of, um, there was an aha moment when, uh, when her guest said, only the best students get the hardest work. And I was like, that is so true. Usually when, when, usually when um, you're struggling through stuff and you're, you're, you're going through life and you have stuff that gets flown at you for uh, for uh, for no reason and you're struggling people you're struggling and you're just out in the dumps just know and just put in your mind that only the best students get the hardest work so if you get through that you're you're gonna be fine you're good 
And then yesterday, yesterday she the 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 guest that she had yesterday said uh, something about affirmation plus action equals miracles, and I, that was an aha moment also because usually when people believe in something, I believe that I'm going to get money, but they don't know how to work for that. You know, it's just like affirmation plus action equals miracles. So if you you start if you start um, believing that you have have money and then you 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 work at it uh, and you work to get that money then you can get your miracles you get get all of this stuff you know and it, it kind of right now I'm just in that position where I want I'm going to school and then I want to go to work and find a good job Colleen doesn't have a good position uh, really a good position that I, I I can have but I believe that I can get a good position. When you put your mindset at, at that and then when you work at it, it's just like, dang, you'll just start creating miracles, just the positive energy and everything like that. So I found that very interesting for me. And I, I'm just taking these live classes, if you guys haven't signed up for it, you might wanna wanna go ahead and check it out on Oprah.com because it's just very inspiring how all that affirmations and all that those words kind of you know you look at yourself and be like aha you know so that was kind of interesting I also watched uh, I'm so mad because X Factor w did not go on last night because the Tigers and the Rangers game baseball game was on for a very long time and of course Texas won so congratulations I'm sorry Jesse but congratulations Texas Rangers they won uh, last night so they to win the division, I think they have to win tonight or four games. But um, X Factor didn't go on because it went longer. So they decided not to show it here in Hawaii, which we could have gotten it on time. <laughs> so they, they decided not to show it. So they're showing the first one tomorrow and the next one on Sunday, which it coincides with Desperate Housewives. I'm not very happy about that. But... Uh, Harry's Law, I got to watch a full episode of Harry's Law. If you guys have not watched that, people, last night's episode was talking about gay bullies, and it was talking about, uh, I was kind of, kind of, um, I was like, dang, Harry Korn is going to be defending a girl that bullied through a blog, um, the, uh, um, a lesbian student. I was like, sure. Hopefully, I was just hoping that the magic didn't wasn't going to get lost, and she defended it, and I it was like almost like again an aha moment because she was defending it, but she said something in there that was very very interesting. That as a society, we're we're putting placing all the blame on these bullies, right? But we don't look at the whole picture. We don't look at the whole picture where society. Is bullying, bullying everybody. Society is basically you. You remember the California um, gay marriage thing, and then there was a huge uproar, and they had to retract that whole thing. And now it's just like we we couldn't get gay marriage because the churches um, were were bullying basically the the whole thing and it's just like she was saying that society is the one to blame we put our society and we're okay with the society like all the these newscasters um placing blame on these uh, these different people and we're, we're okay with that but now we're placing blame on children and that's where we're we need to kind of look at it and look at the big picture where we're looking at society as a whole and we as a society needs to say stop we need to say stop to to the bully the bullies out there because if you look at it bullies are everywhere not only in our schools people not only in our schools so it was kind of a uh, aha moment I hopefully I can maybe they have a quote of it of what um, she said in her 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 defense so we'll see what happens uh, with that it was kind of interesting I I, it, I didn't agree that she got uh, the girl got off but I know she she'll she's getting punished by the fact that she she created a blog that affected a person so much so you know anyways 
that we're gonna be watching X Factor tonight. Hopefully they don't stop it due to a fucking baseball game. <laughs> so, anyways, I love you guys. Catch you guys all later. Have a good Thursday, and see you guys hopefully tomorrow.